Hashtag more to know. Hashtag land grab. Hashtag tribal wars. Hashtag paper genocide. July 24th, 1701. Today in mapping Michigan Mounds history. Hashtag Frenchman. Hashtag traitor. Cadillac. Antoine de L.A. Mote. In 1701, Antoine de la Motte Cadillac founded the site that would become the city of Detroit. He was born Antoine Le Met on March 5, 1658 in southern France. At the age of 25, he arrived in the New World, BKA hashtag Ancient America and, as a coastal trader, soon became an expert on the continent's Atlantic coast. Antoine de la Motte Cadillac establishes a settlement at Detroit. He leads 100 French soldiers and 100 Algonquins to Le Detroit, the Strait. They build Fort Pontchartrain to Detroit from logs. The goal is to protect the French fur trade in the Great Lakes from the English and Iroquois. Detroit Historical Society Related to Antoine de la Motte, Sieur de Cadillac March 5, 1658, October 16, 1730, born Antoine Lomet, was a French explorer and adventurer in New France, which stretched from eastern Canada to Louisiana on the Gulf of Mexico. He rose from a modest beginning in Acadia in 1683 as an explorer, trapper, and a trader of alcohol and furs, achieving various positions of political importance in the colony. Upon his arrival in America, La Motte adopted his title after the town of Cadillac, Gironde in southwestern France. In 1683, Antoine Lomet arrived at Port Royal, the capital of Acadia. During the next four years, he explored his new country in all directions, extending his explorations to New England and New Holland, pushing south to the Caroline, now North Carolina and South Carolina, and learning some Native American languages and habits. He probably entered into a business relationship with Denis Guyon, a merchant of Quebec. On June 25, 1687, he married Guyon's daughter, Marie Therese, 17, in Quebec. The marriage certificate is the first document that records his new identity. He identified as Antoine de Lamoth, Equier, Sieur de Cadillac, and signed as de Lamoth Lonay. Like many immigrants, he took advantage of emigrating to the New World to create a new identity, perhaps to conceal the reasons that drove him from France. He was the commander of Fort de Bois in St. Ignace, Michigan, in 1694. In 1701, he founded Fort Pontchartrain du Detroit, which became the city of Detroit. He was commandant of the fort until 1710. Between 1710 and 1716, he was the governor of Louisiana, although he did not arrive in that territory until 1713. His knowledge of the coasts of New England and the Great Lakes area was appreciated by Frontenac, governor of New France, and Pontchartrain, secretary of state for the Navy. This earned him various favors, including the Order of St. Louis from King Louis XIV. The Jesuits in Canada, however, accused him of perverting the Indians with his alcohol trading and he was imprisoned for a few months in Quebec in 1704, and again in the Bastille on his return to France in 1717. The city of Detroit became the world center of automobile production in the 20th century. William H. Murphy and Henry M. Leland founded the Cadillac Auto Company and paid homage to him by using his name for their company and his self-created armorial bearings as its logo in 1902. Various places bear his name in America, in particular Cadillac Mountain in Maine and the town of Cadillac, Michigan. He was widely hailed as a hero until the 1950s and the rise of liberal scholarship, but more recent writers have criticized him. 1. W. J. Eccles claims that he most definitely was not one of the great early heroes and probably deserves to be ranked with the worst scoundrels ever to set foot in New France. Related to Hashtag Daughters of Del Rey Hashtag Fort Wayne Land of Dry Bones of Our Fathers Meets Antoine de la Motte Sierra de Cadillac Copper Trails along the Detroit River Mounds Remembered Hashtag Detroit Remember Back When